Hello, anyone who watches this. <laughs> Happy evening. Um, so I was going to record this and then um, post something up, but I figured I would go crazy just trying to make the perfect video, the perfect recording, and then post something. So I'm just gonna go and we'll see what happens. Um, so this is this is my transformation in terms of how my journey has been so far, especially with coaching. Um, I started coaching with Beachbody in March 2016 and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I even got started with coaching, like why, right? Like I've got my, as most if not all of you know, I've got my doctorate in clinical psychology, like why um, did I decide to go with coaching? And I'm doing stuff obviously with my degree, but why am I doing this as well? Um, basically I was at a point in my, and I have notes because like I said, I'm really nervous. Um, but basically I was at a point in my life where I really felt like everything and anything that could spin out of control was spinning out of control. Um, I was dealing with really bad depression and I was not expecting that in my life. I pretty much thought I had my life together, right? Um, but I finished my internship and life pretty much fell apart. <laughs> um, I had no plans for licensure. I had no plans for postdoc work, nothing. Um, wasn't even done with my dissertation. So especially professionally in my work life or non-existent work life, things were just falling apart and spinning out of control. And I found myself just like trying to grasp onto anything so that I could feel like I was at least standing on a foot, not even two feet, just standing on a foot at least. Um, the problem became that I never felt like I could quite get a grasp on anything or even the things that I was getting a grasp of, they would burn me or, or push me back or have me sinking instead of standing. Um, things were just absolutely out of control. Um, and I, I got to the point where I just needed something that was all mine. Um, I needed something that would be a direct reflection of how much work I had put into it, right? Because even, yes, I had crossed the stage, gotten my diploma, signed, sealed, and stamped with my dissertation, published, but I couldn't see the results. I had it, I wasn't working in my chosen field. And so even with that, even with my degree, it didn't feel like I was seeing the fruits of all of my hard labor, basically. Um, so I needed something that was all mine. I needed something that would be a direct reflection of how hard I was working. Um, so, so I chose I chose coaching um, and because of that it was like a random night in February I was on Instagram looking for ways to get healthy right looking for inspirational and motivational post on Instagram let's be honest who does that a lot of people <laughs> I know I'm not the only one out there we're always looking for outside sources of inspiration and motivation and that's just how life is that's where I found myself on a random night in February night being like 2 a.m. 3 a.m. Um, so I came across this page that was all about you know like sharing basically other people's stories it was just like an inspiration page and it had a lot of people's stories and I came across this chick named Caitlin um, so as the detective that I know I really should be in another life I stalked her Instagram um, and looked at all of her posts and she seemed like 
a real person. Um, but you never really know, right? You never really know. Has anyone heard of Catfish? I remember that. You never really know if these people are real. Um, but she was doing a sneak peek on Facebook and I was like, okay, I will check that out and see what this is all about. Because believe me, I was skeptical. Um, so I did the sneak peek. I didn't have the money in February, um, but she said she was gonna be doing another one in March. So I signed up to do that and I had my mom watch all the videos because I was like, Ma, what do you think? <laughs> like, does this seem real? Like, what, what do you think is happening here? Is this something that I could maybe do? Um, and feel comfortable doing and she was like, I don't know, you know, like try it see I'll help you um, And so I did so I signed up in March with um, like a military boot camp style program and trying the shapes um, And and the rest is history I guess you can say um Basically, it's it's been a really interesting journey so far. I took a couple of months off just because there was a lot happening in my life. Um, but the past couple of months, I've been actually putting the work in and that meaning really focusing on myself and my health journey um, and helping other people with their health journey. Um, so now that it's been, um, now that I've been diligent with it and um, I'm, I've realized how much I've learned in myself and so I just wanted to share a little bit um, what I've learned so far about myself in this whole journey. Um, number one, I'm a leader, um, which is weird because I've always kind of sort of known that. Um, mostly because I don't like people telling me what to do. <laughs> I don't like that at all i have an issue with authority i'm very much well aware of that fact um and so it makes sense to me that as a stubborn person that likes to lead um that i would create a business for myself i would be my own ceo basically um and i've built it to the point where it's not, I'm not the boss telling you what to do. It's all about collaborating and growing together and learning. And that's something that I haven't found anywhere else where the focus is also on yourself. Um, I've learned that I'm strong, not just physically, but I'm pig headed <laughs> in my pursuit of becoming a better person. Um, and becoming the woman that I want to be and surrounding myself with other women who are also focused on being their best selves. Um, it's, been, it's been a really trippy situation and a really trippy journey. Um, the last thing that I learned about myself, which is probably the biggest lesson so far, is I actually love working with women. Um, in my field of choice, I never had any interest working with girls, working with women. Um, for me, it was always just too much work, didn't want to do it, it's not for me. Um, and I, I figured it out that in, in my field of work, in my chosen field of work, um, the focus is so much on being there for other people being um, empathizing with other people and where they are and what they're going through. Um, and with coaching, the focus is on yourself and um, taking care of yourself and constantly striving to grow and learn about yourself and motivate yourself and push yourself further um, to become a better person. And I found that the reason why I never wanted to work exclusively with women is because I didn't have the space yet to empathize with other women. Because as a woman, believe me, I know how much we go through and how, um, how many pressures we have in life. And I wasn't ready yet to, to see that reflected, to see that mirrored in the people that I was working with. Um, but now that I've been doing the work, not that I'm completely there yet, I believe me, I am far from self-actualized, <laughs> but I've been doing the work and I've been finding ways to 
to learn about myself, to grow, to have more compassion for myself, to believe in myself. Um, and now that I'm in at least that headspace and I've been doing the legwork, I find that I am so much more open and willing and wanting to work with other women to I'm more I have the space now to empathize and and be there for other women um, and that's something that's completely surprising to me um, completely exciting to me it's it's a breath of fresh air um, and now I'm at the point where the business that I'm building is absolutely all about working with women. Um, I'm going to work with whoever I'm going to work with in my field of choice and that's fine. I love it. Um, but in this business that I'm building for myself, it is absolutely about focusing and working with women. Maybe eventually down the line, I'll include some guys in there. But right now I'm at a place and time in my life where I really want to do that work. I want to be built and grow and help other women. Um, so now on top of coaching other women and helping them with their fitness goals and their nutrition goals and all of that, I'm at the point where I'm also mentoring at this point two women um, grow their own businesses. Like what? <laughs> what? If I thought that I would really seriously be doing this a year ago, like if someone told me that, forget about it. Like, absolutely not. But I'm at a point now where I am so blessed and confident and happy and strong and excited that I am, I'm paying it forward, basically. I am working with um, two women right now, like I said, helping them to grow their business. I'm I'm teaching them what I've learned and and seeing them grow and seeing them get excited about the fact that they have so many goals that they want to reach, right? Um, and they're like, I'm turning on that switch now. Like this is happening for me right now. All these goals that I want to reach, I'm going to do that now. And I'm ready and I'm excited about it and I'm ready to jump in. And that's been incredibly amazing. I love the the um, the challengers and boot campers that I have so tremendously because they've added so much value to my life. And I love the women that I'm working with that I'm building a business with. <laughs> Not gonna cry. Um, I am just, I am absolutely pleased. 10 months ago, I started a journey um, because I wanted to take back my life, because I wanted to hold on to something that was all mine and so far i'm incredibly pleased so far i have grown in ways that i could honestly never imagine to be able to pay that forward and help other women grow and learn about themselves and motivate themselves and set and reach their goals and and have these big dreams that we all have has been a blessing in spades um, and so I, I am to the point where I had like a, my first team meeting with these women last night and I did a training today for some other coaches. Like I am to the point where it, there are no barriers. There's nothing that can hold me back. And I, to be able to say that on January 31st, 2007 is absolutely amazing and I'm so happy and I'm so grateful and I'm so so blessed um before I completely break down I'm going to end this video um that's all I have to say I'm just so incredibly blessed and I'm so looking forward to helping more women um, grow and learn about themselves and feel good about themselves in their own skin. And I'm just, I'm jazzed. I'm ready. We're going into the second month of 2017 and I am absolutely ready to keep growing and keep learning about myself and keep building and keep striving to be the absolute best girl boss that I can be. All right.
that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, to me, I feel like ramble. And before I continue on that, I'm just gonna say deuces. Have a good night.